want you to listen carefully. The Book of Moron is coming up this spring at the Marcus Center for the Performing Arts. It is not the wildly popular and hilarious musical Book of Mormon. It's still wildly popular. This is a one-man show. It is called The Book of Moron. Robert yes, Duback is right. here. He is the show, and right. he's here to talk about it a little yeah. bit. Uh, now, uh, as you yes. said, it, this also is wildly popular. Yes. It's yes, just it not the amongst, same show. Amongst smart and stupid people, <laughs> that's what it's about. I mean, The Book of Moron is about our inner moron and everybody. Do you have people showing up that thought they were going to the I musical? do, and then they actually, you know, there's there's a deal in I the... I thought we were seeing a musical. Right, okay. yeah. And I don't sing. I don't <laughs> sing at all, no. But, um, you know, it's like my other show. I've been here a couple times with the male intellect and oxymoron where we mm -hmm. figure out the difference between men and women. The Book of Moron now, we figure out the difference between stupid and smart. And as Twain always said, you know, you can't ever get in an argument with a stupid person because you'll lose. He's had more experience. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're looking at some video here sure. uh, of, of the show. And I, I want to focus on this moment because this mm -hmm. is, uh, you bring out the string. You said, this is the line. Yeah. On this side of the line, you're going to offend people. On this side of the line, it's, right, it's funny. Right, right, right. Uh, I think that's really important right now yeah, because sure. it, it, is it hard out there doing comedy where you're going to poke at people a little bit, increasingly so the well, last couple of years? You know, I mean, part of that, it is, it's not as hard as it is people aren't really kind of uh, organized as the way they set it up. If I let you know this may be offensive to you. And, and we're then, okay with it. Well, you will be as long as you massage it and be a little professional about it <laughs> instead of right. just hitting you over the head with some sort of, you know, base statement, which is, that's what's got everybody upset. I think what's interesting, too, is it has to actually be funny. Like you can yeah. offend people, you know, say, "Ah, it was a joke." But if it's right. not funny, then yeah, you just—it's just a joke from their perspective. It's <laughs> right, like right. There's a um, there's a joke that's kind of offensive and kind of not in the show about you know Trump being the president as opposed to Obama. So when you really think of it, orange is the new black. So that <laughs> gets a point where you know people will laugh. Right. But they'll also go, "Ah, should I laugh? Should I?" Am not I okay laugh? to laugh? But, right. I, but right. you are because everybody else laughs. Right. Yeah. Uh, so this is not stand up. I mean, no, it's no, a no, no, show. No. Yeah. I mean, it's like stand up funny, but it's a show. Tell right. me a little bit about the, that nuance. Well, it's you know, it's more along the lines of if uh, Mark Twain and Lily Tomlin had a baby, and that would be me. It's you know, <laughs> I do a bunch of different Gorgeous. characters that tell a story. Yeah, real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> no mustache, <laughs> at least not on my face. Right. Uh, I do it well, that does tell a story, but I become all these different characters that help the story through and the idea for the Book of Moron is that uh, I'm in a coma and all my inner voices my my inner child my inner moron my um, the voice of reason my common sense and my inner uh, Something that I can't <laughs> say. Whatever. <laughs> all right. I got you. They all try to they get me back to life and try to get me to understand, you know, what really is the uh, the meaning of life. Well, Which I'm you glad you stopped by on your way. Uh, yeah. The show's the not show's coming up until April. April 13th, right. 14th. And if you use the code word brainy, mm -hmm. do you know how to spell that? Uh, I would say N Y. No. no. See? B you owe me five bucks. <laughs> uh, brainy. B R A I N Y. <laughs> Uh, and they can get tickets for half price. All you know, right, two for fantastic. One tickets. Yeah. The Book of Moron, Go to April the 13th Center. and 14th at the Marcus Center for the Performing Arts for showtimes and ticket information. You can check out the link. We set it up for you on our website. It's tmj4.com.